McLaren has become the latest team to unveil its new Formula One car for the 2020 season. At an event at the McLaren Technology Center in Woking, the team lifted the covers off the new McLaren MCL35 car that will be driven by Carlos Sanz and Lando Norris through the upcoming campaign. So here she is, ladies and gentlemen, this year's challenger that McLaren MCL 35 finally revealed for the first time to the media and fans, both here and watching around the world. Thank you to Sarah Lacey-Smith and Liam Dance from McLaren's race team, to Poppy Gustafsson, co-CEO of team partner Dark Trace, and McLaren Plus Papaya member Owen Davis for their help in bringing the car out on stage for us all to see. Bringing fans and partners right to the heart of the action here at McLaren is essential to the team, so we're delighted to have these guys to help launch the car to the world. Also here with us today, CEO of McLaren Racing, Zach Brown, and team principal, Andrea Seidel, who we'll hear from a bit later. And finally, a big thank you to the team's partners, some of whom have joined the team over the winter period, and many of whom have enjoyed several years of partnerships with McLaren. Thank you for your valued support and commitment, and we're delighted to have you with us. Welcome all. Of course, another key asset, or two key assets, of the team, the driver pairing of Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris, who joined McLaren for their first season in 2019, and are very much part of the team ethos here at McLaren. A relationship has been a great thing for everyone to see, and a big motivation for the team on its road to recovery. Let's now hear from them ahead of their second season together. Please welcome to the stage McLaren's 2020 driver lineup, Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris. <laughs> She looks good, boys. Here we go again. Start of a new season, 2020. Mm -hmm. It was a really uh, positive story for uh, McLaren in 2019. First things first, how do you like the livery, Carlos? I like it. I like it a lot. I just think the, the new matte finish and all the work that it's been put into this car, it, it looks great. It looks a bit tighter. It looks slimmer. It looks just better, I think. Matte finish. You like that? You were saying you had a hand in this, Lando, and getting it just the way you liked it. Tell us how. Uh, yeah, I pretty much designed the whole thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, no, this car is obviously a, a base from, it's made last year. And um, everything that we went through last year, all our comments and discussions uh, between us as drivers um, has been put into this and based around that. So it's a lot more of my car and we've had the input in, into kind of making this. So it feels a lot more of my baby. Um, and my car and I can't wait to go drive it. No longer a teenager with all no. that entails. I know that mum and dad and sister are here. In fact, I was just talking to your mum a little bit earlier. Apparently she said that you didn't phone her when you went to Bahrain to train a little bit earlier. So I hope that's not a sign of things to come. <laughs> she said you've got you to give her a call if you're going to do these things. How does it feel though to be in your, your second season with McLaren? Um, it feels very good. I'm, uh, if I think back to this point last year, um, I'm, I've been told I'm not allowed to say the word I was going to say. <laughs> but I was uh, pooping myself, in other words. Sure, sure. Uh, a lot last year, especially at this point. Um, but now I'm a lot more confident, I'm a lot more relaxed, and, um, and that just prepares me better for the season. It's hard to believe, really. It's your sixth season in Formula One. I, uh, we're not going to give you the veteran tag, but 25 years <laughs> No, please, years of not age, yet. I won't, I won't. I'm, I'm 25, so... But you're the C <laughs> a senior member of this team now, uh, Carlos. Um, you know, tell me about the relationship between yourself and, and, and Lando and, and how you're looking forward now to having this effectively as your, your second car. Yeah, I think we, we've managed to develop a, a good relationship with each other, but also a good working relationship inside the team. With every single member of the team, we've managed to put together a better, hopefully a better package, a better car. I think there's been um, 
a lot of work put behind this and be behind this thing. And I don't know. I just have the feeling it's it's a lot. Everything is coming together a lot better. We're growing as a team. We we have a positive momentum going through, and we want to carry that over for this year. Tell us what did the podium in Brazil last time around do for the team? What did it do for you as well? It was very special. It was a very special moment in my career, as you can imagine. It was a bit of a weird podium, I must say, but something <laughs> that I enjoyed a lot. Um, it was a good ending to the year because we managed to get all the team members on the podium. So it was uh, 70, 80 people on a podium that in a normal ceremony, you cannot do that. No? So it was very special and just shows a very good team spirit that we have in McLaren and something that we want to continue and build on. And Lando, what, what did you learn from, from last year in your rookie season, would you say, that you can take into 2020? Uh, a lot of things. <laughs> um, yeah, especially with working with Carlos, there's a lot of things I had to improve on and, and work on, uh, which has been very, very be beneficial for me. Um, and I've had the whole season to work on those things and prepare even better. Um, but it's not one thing in Formula 1. There's so many things to think about from, from on the track, but also away at the track, uh, working on the setup, um, or working on, on the future, you know, looking at the development as well. It's not just about how to drive the, the car fast. So there's a, a lot of things, and um, I can't wait to start for the season. It's such a storied team, one of the most successful teams in the history of Formula 1. Just, just tell me from a driver's perspective, when you walk past all those cars on the boulevard and you, you're aware of the history of, of McLaren, does that weigh heavy on the shoulders or does it spur you on to great things, do you think? Well, from my side, it's just a privilege, a huge honour, you know, every... More or less, I come here every Wednesday to do some work with the engineers. And every day of the week that I come here, I just feel very proud to, to walk down that boulevard, see all the cars, all the numbers, all the historical trophies along the way. And I don't know, it's just every time I walk through there, I have a smile on my face and something that I feel very proud of. And yeah, looking forward to add a few more trophies or cars to that, <laughs> to that, uh, to that shelf. <laughs> Well, I think back to what I was doing when I was 20, uh, it probably was vastly different to what you're doing. Um, but I was just thinking, how, how does that feel for you, though? It's such a young age, still, Lando, to, to have that and to, to bear the responsibility of such a great team. Uh, I mean, it's been a long journey. I've been trying to be in this position um, or to get to last year's position for, for around 13, 14 years, um, since I was around six or seven years old. So it's, um, it's been awesome. And uh, I've loved every minute, and I wouldn't change it for anything. So uh, it's been tough at the same time, but it's, yeah, since I was that young, um, it's the only thing I wanted to do. So I'm grateful, and especially to work with McLaren, like you said, walking down the boulevard, seeing those cars, seeing the, the drivers who have been part of the team, it, uh, it makes it even more special. So like Carlos said then, um, I would love to add to that. Some of the most loyal fans, we know that. Uh, British motorsport always seems to get behind McLaren, and we see it at Sky F1. When you guys are doing well, the interest in the, the sport seems to peak. And what would be your message to those fans, the fans that saw a podium but are still wanting the team to get back to, to winning ways for expectations for the new season, would you say? Well, I, I would first of all thank them because I saw our fan base growing massively last year. You know, that positive momentum we were talking before about before, you just see a lot of fans coming together and suddenly being feeling part of this journey, you know, part of this recovery process of McLaren. So first of all, thank them. And then second, tell them to keep up with us, you know, like we are going to keep pushing massively to make sure we keep this upward trend and help us along the way because we're going to need them. And Lando, the bromance will continue, yeah, even if you come together on track. I mean, we say this all the time <laughs> about driver pairings, but you two seem to have something special going. Um, I, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. Um, <laughs> uh, no, it's been good. It's, um, it's made it a lot more fun, especially for my, my first year in Formula One. Um, it's, I've been able to settle into things a lot quicker than I thought I would. Um, and all of that's been down to Carlos and, um, and how we got along and, and how we've helped each other and, and so on. So um, it's been a lot of fun and I hope that it continues that way. I think we all do. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for this year's uh, McLaren driver pairing, Lando Norris and Carlos Sainz.
Vegas. I don't know if you I had made the strong it. winds behind you that they did last year, getting over 800 miles an hour or whatever it was. But um, how proud do you feel when you stand in front of your own car now? Yeah, it's, uh, it's fantastic. First of all, welcome everyone and to all our uh, fans and partners that are watching this today. Uh, it's always great to see the uh, start of the season and the work of 800 men and women uh, coming together to develop this uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful race car and uh, very excited. Yeah, very exciting indeed. Your first launch, Andres, in fact, your first full season with the team. How are you settling in? How are you feeling? Yeah, first of all, uh, I have to say it feels simply great to be part of this McLaren team today, standing next to our MCL 35. And I really want to take the opportunity as well to really thank every single member of the, of the team for all the hard work in the last 12 months to get this, this baby on stage uh, today. Now, I'm very happy with the progress we could make uh, last year. I mean, we simply kept improving uh, race by race. I'm very happy with my leadership team uh, having in place now as well with James Key as technical director, Pete Thin as production director, and Andrea Stella as, as racing director. They're doing a sensational job. We have a, a clear plan, let's say in place of how we want to approach the future and now it's simply important to keep this positive momentum up and keep improving Absolutely. as a team. Absolutely, Zach, it's, it's quite literally weighed down with sponsors. 38 now, I suppose that's testament to the work the marketing team and yourself have done in the winter. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, much as Andreas and his team have done a, uh, an outstanding job coming out of last year, um, we're, I think we're just getting started on our uh, trajectory back to the, the front. Uh, equally, Mark Waller and, and his whole marketing team have done a, a great job. Um, you know, our big partner, BAT, after one year of a lot of success together, have, have stepped up, principal partner, just came back from Dell Technologies in, uh, in Vegas. And then, of course, Poppy pushed out uh, our great new Dark Trace, who's going to keep us secure. And then you've got Splunk who joined us uh, is going to help us with data and Aero, of course, our second year, uh, our IndyCar title sponsor and automation uh, anywhere. So you you put them all together and they're going to help uh, you know make us go uh, make us go faster. Okay. What about the job of a team principal? Is that to keep expectations sort of level? Um, what, what do you want from 2020? And what are you telling the team? And what are you telling the wider world right now? Yeah, I think it's it's simply important to not get carried away with what we have achieved uh, last year, which was great. Uh, it's a reset back to zero again for every team in the pit lane whenever starting a, a new season. Everyone is having the same ambitious targets. Everyone is working as hard as we do as well. Uh, so for me, it's simply important again to focus on ourselves. Uh, I'm very happy with what I've seen in terms of development uh, of the car over winter. So I think we can be quite optimistic going into the, in the new season. At the same time, we need to be realistic as well. Zach, what about the atmosphere in the team? It, it does seem now, and I, I suppose it all, all stems or starts from, from the driver, but also the team that you've put in place. The atmosphere seems to be of a team moving in the right direction. And 2020, it looks like you, I mean, you're morphing from engine partners to another one towards 2021. So there's challenges. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of credit to our, our two uh, drivers. They've brought a lot of uh, energy to the team. Uh, I think McLaren is a fun place to be. It's a fun garage to be in. It's a fun factory to work at. Uh, Andreas has done an outstanding job building the team, giving it real focus and leadership. So I don't think we could have someone better to run our Formula One team. And, uh, you know, I think you owe me 20 bucks for that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, or pounds, we're in England. Um, so, uh, no, in, in all seriousness, it's, it's, it's very exciting times at, at McLaren. I think we've turned the corner. We do have a long way to go, but uh, I'm excited for, uh, for Australia. OK, put us in the shoes then, finally, if you, if you could, Andreas, the team principal right now. Everyone's itching to get going in Barcelona. Um, you know, how, how does it feel from your perspective, as, as you said, the first one for yourself and for, for James that is, is fully yours? Yeah, I mean, we're all racers. I'm a racing guy, so... We all love these sunrises at racetracks, or the sun going down, experience that. So I'm looking forward, actually, to go, to go on track again. Um, we have testing even more restricted compared to previous years, uh, only six days. So it's important to get some decent mileage under the belt again to make sure we rock up in, in Melbourne uh, as prepared as possible. I think we have done our, our homework um, over winter. The drivers have done a sensational job also together with the engineers. The presence uh, here at the factory was really impressive. So I feel ready, together with the team, uh, to tackle the next season. 
and uh, it's time to go again. Absolutely, Zach. Finally from you, same uh, message if you could to the fans, the McLaren fans, the ones that follow you through thick and thin for 2020. We've got the, uh, the, the best fans, even some of the fans saw the car before I did. They did. Uh, this yeah. uh, nice this, this morning, <laughs> so uh, luckily they didn't spoil it for me. So uh, now I want to thank all of our fans. I think we've got the best fans in, in Formula One. It's, uh, you know, they've been through us thick and thin and uh, they're very much a part of everything uh, that we do. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's why we go racing. We wish you all the success for 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together if you could for Zach Brown and Andrea Seidel. <laughs>